Hey everybody, it's John Swartz with Miller Electric and we're out here at Katati Speed Shop and with the unique project the team here is working on and some of the uh, more unique materials that they're working with, we thought it might be beneficial for us to kind of talk about the properties of those materials and some of the applications that they're typically used in. For example, the first material is a 409 stainless steel and this is the type of material that's being used in the Flowmaster exhaust the team's installing today. I've also got a piece of 4130 chromoly tubing that's going to be used as part of the roll cage for the car. And finally, I've also got a piece of 304 stainless steel, which could also be used as part of an exhaust system in, in a typical hot rod application. The common element here in each one of the chemistries of these materials is chromium, but in varying percentages. For example, in the 304 stainless steel, you've got roughly 19% chromium. In contrast, in the 409 stainless, it's 11%. So if that greater addition of chromium increases the corrosion resistance or resistance to rust, why would I choose a 409 over a 304? Well, the answer is simple. The higher the chromium content, the greater the cost. And a company like Flowmaster, to make things a little bit more cost effective for the general public, elected you to go with the 409. Now on over to the 4130 chromoly tubing. Now here, the 1% addition of chromium that's added into this material isn't done so, so much for corrosion resistance as it is for an increase in strength, in particular over a standard mild steel tube. So now we've kind of gone over a very brief explanation as to the properties of these materials. The next step in the fabrication would be what filler material and what shielding gas would you use. So that's going to be in our next video and we'll talk a little bit about the different welding processes involved.